That's for you, high bolt. Cat! 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 There's another cat in that room too now, because so you're looking back. Anyway, <laughs> tank. Um, here's the start of your slider. I'm doing it a three a three post. No, it's not gonna look like this. This is uh, Sarah's. I'm just get, making sure I get you know the holes lined up so that you know so that it lines up. Anyway, what I'm also gonna do because this is gonna be the outer rail that's gonna butt up against it like that. That's not good enough. So I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna make slugs, not those kind. And then this will go into here like this. And then I'll drill a little hole in there. So that'll actually go inside of it and then get braised together. So, you know, that can't just snap off. Anyway, that's what I'm working on. I got, that's how far I got. Anyway, guys, I got, like I said, I got something coming. I got a surprise coming. But I want to upgrade it. I want to upgrade everything that I can upgrade on it. And uh, it's a fairly inexpensive thing to upgrade. So, I'm going to do it. My tandem axle, flat deck car hauler. I was going to I was gonna be selling it, trying to sell it to a friend of mine. But I'm going to make him a different one. Because of the height of this trailer. I don't think it'll work good for for his. Now, as you know, hang on. As you know, the ramps slide out from underneath like that, and then they sit on the back like so. Okay, and you put your car on the back of it. And then you tow it around. It's got a swivel hitch. And with it, I'm going to repaint this, but it's going to be this hitch. I was going to use a trailer for something else, but I'm, I'm going to need money to upgrade my new toy. And, uh, well, I don't have any income, so what I'm going to do... And these, by the way, have these brass threaded inserts screwed inside of the wheel, as you can see right there. And it goes through this aluminum plate, and they roll like a brass bushing. They won't wear out. Anyway, they got sealed foams inside. They're closed cell foams. There's the tandem axles for working suspension piece. You can see. So that the trailer can actually articulate and it's strong I breeze the whole thing myself here's the hitch all right now what we're gonna do here is no that's not it um, because I love this trailer so much it is strong as hell trust me this is like made out of toolbox steel like it's Ouch. Here, I'll show you. Nothing happens. Strong. Okay. Strong deck. Fits truck. Show you. I use the goat because. Because. See? Fits the truck perfectly. As you can see, the tires are not squished. What I'm going to do, I have a price in mind, and I will not accept any lower than the price I have in mind, unless it's like a dollar or two. What I want to do for this trailer, guys, you know, share, if you want. I mean, other people are going to see it. Lots of people are going to see the video anyway. But I'm going to hold a silent auction for it. Because I need the money to build something else for parts. And I know how much these things go for online. 
and this one is better than them it's stronger as you can see the axle is made out of channel box to or so made out of box tubing with brake line in the center of it brazed on either end for the axles so the axles are strong as hell okay and it does articulate it's easy to tear down and fix. Not that it, you'll need fixing. You can see it's got several cross braces. So it's strong. Every joint is brazed 360 degrees. There's the wraps hiding underneath there. There's little, little loopies that they hide in. And I've decided that the only way I'm going to get any money to upgrade what I have coming you see the grace of God, I got one. You'll see it when you get it, or when it comes. I'm going to do a silent auction. I'm going to run it until... I'll say... Not this weekend. Next Friday. I'm not telling anybody what anybody's bids are. If you want to bid, PM it. Send me a private message. Or if you want to make it public, that's your call. But I'm not sharing any prices if anybody offers for it. I'm not disclosing anything. I'm not saying anything. I'll just save. I'll take a screenshot of your offer and I'll save it. And in two weeks or a week and a half, if somebody has come, you know, within you know a few bucks of my reserve price, I'll let it go. If not, I'll just keep it. Because I don't want to get rid of it. I love it, but you know, I could use the money. So in the meantime. It will be back up here because you know I still got to fix my six by six yet but I got to build bumpers so like I said silent auction run for a week and a half I still have this car too by the way if somebody want, if somebody's interested 90 bucks it's only been out twice it's got a small crack in the body but it's fine battery pack charger the whole nine yards ready to run controller everything 90 bucks plus shipping Trailer will be plus shipping as well because I don't have the money to pay shipping. Well, nice big bruise, eh? Look at that bruise. But like I said, silent auction, week and a half. Place your bids. We'll see what happens in a week and a half. All right, guys. Remember, if you can't build with passion, pay someone else to. Later.